Hi everyone, this is Jai Surya. I'm a study abroad advisor and a career counselor. Over the past few years, I've helped thousands of students pursue master's programs in different specializations. In this video, I want to talk about one such specialization which is very high in demand. It's MS in cybersecurity. As long as we use software applications, the demand for cybersecurity professionals is going to be high. In fact, in the USA, MS in cybersecurity is seeing an increasing demand among students and aspirants. Now, because we depend on software applications throughout our lives, the demand for cybersecurity professionals is naturally going to be high. That's why in the US, the jobs in this field are projected to grow much higher than the traditional IT jobs, and the pay is also much higher. For example, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics projects a 28% growth in jobs in the cybersecurity field over the coming five years. This is much higher than the national average of job growth in the US. There are going to be a lot of jobs across industries like telecommunication, banking, data storage, utilities, transportation and logistics, etc. In fact, in the US, the government of US is one of the biggest employers for cybersecurity professionals. Now, let's try to understand what is the pay like for cybersecurity professionals. Because of the high demand, the pay for cybersecurity professionals is pretty high. It can range from 60,000 US dollars per annum to as high as 300,000 US dollars per annum. Now, for a master's graduate in cybersecurity, the average pay is around 112,000 US dollars. Now, to give you a perspective, the average pay for a software engineer is around 105,000 US dollars per annum and for a data scientist is around 103,000 US dollars per annum, which are both one of the most popular and high demand job roles among international students. So you can see that cybersecurity professionals are paid slightly higher than these two roles. But remember that your payout depends upon your expertise, the number of tools you have learned and how deep you know concepts in this field. So that's how your payout is going to be high. Now here are the top job roles that cybersecurity grads apply to. You can also search these job roles on platforms like Indeed or LinkedIn and see the demand for such roles. Now the top states that hire cybersecurity professionals are. Number one is the Virginia, Washington DC, Maryland region. Now this region is made of two states, that is Virginia and Maryland. And the other is the national capital region of Washington DC. Now this whole region combined has one of the highest number of employers for cybersecurity professionals. The government organizations in this region and their private contractors hire the bulk of cybersecurity grants. Interestingly, there are also many good universities in this region that offer great MS in cybersecurity programs. So this should be top on your list. The next three states are California, Texas and Florida, which are all big IT hubs where there is a demand for cybersecurity professionals. Now I hope that gives you an entire picture of how the job market for cybersecurity grads is in the US. Now let's try to understand who can apply for an MS in cybersecurity. Those of the students with bachelor's degree in ECE and computer science are directly eligible to apply for MS cybersecurity without any prerequisites. Now those of the students who are from closely related fields or other fields need to pursue a few certification courses. Two of the widely accepted certification courses are FOMPTIA Security Plus and Certified Ethical Hacker. Now, if you do not belong to this field, if you are from an entirely different field, along with these certification courses, it's also better you pursue some basics in programming languages. You can find many courses on Coursera. So if you are able to show programming knowledge by pursuing these courses, it will help you with admissions. Now let's look at some of the good universities that are offering masters in cybersecurity program. In tier one universities, we have Johns Hopkins, Georgia Tech, Carnegie Mellon, and University of Maryland College Park. In tier two, we have NYU Tandon School of Engineering, Syracuse University, University of Delaware, 
and George Mason University. In tier 3, we have Sunny Albany, University of Alabama, Birmingham, and Illinois Institute of Technology, Chicago, etc. So these are just examples. There are many universities that are offering MS in cybersecurity. So you have a lot of options if at all you're planning to apply to this program. Now my final verdict is, if at all you're someone who's interested in cybersecurity field, pursuing an MS in US will give you relevant skills, access to high paying jobs, and exposure that comes with working at top companies. Even after a few years, you can come back to your home country and your skills will still be relevant and in demand. I personally believe cybersecurity is a very underrated field. In this ever-changing IT world, pursuing cybersecurity field will always be a safe option for you. If at all you have any questions regarding MS in cybersecurity, please comment them below. Um, I'll try to answer them at the earliest. Do like, share and subscribe to this channel for more information about study abroad process. Thanks for watching.